Uh -huh. Can you hear me? Recording is on. Okay, let's start our class. Today, we're going to talk about loops. You know what is loop, right? It's a repetition. Loop. Can you read it? Okay, we have two types of loops, all right? First is entry control loop, okay? These loops will check, let's say, checks the condition before loop starts, okay? And second type of loop we have is exit control of loop. Control of loop. Exit control of loop checks the condition after loop starts. Okay, all right, we have a three loops we use. First one, entry control loop. There's two types of entry control loops. One is while loop, okay? And second one is for loop. All right. And for exit control loop, we have only one loop. That's what we call do while. All right. Okay. Let's see how it works. We have condition here. And we have statements here. You know what a statement, right? Okay, this is a while loop um, definition, how it works in C program. And in for loop, we have <coughs> initialize value here, then put condition, then increment, increment, or increment, decrement, all right? Then we have statements here. Statements, all right? Okay, <clears throat> this is how you define the for loop and this is how you define the while loop in C program. Okay. And for do while loop, let me first we have a statement here, and here we have condition. So difference is this do while will run the statement first, then checks the condition. That's what we call exit control loop. When the loops checks the condition after loop runs, okay? Then these two while and for loops will check the condition before it runs the statement, okay? This is a condition, right? This is a condition, and this is a condition in for loop. If condition is true, it will run the statement. If condition is false, it will terminate the loop. Here also the same. But in do while, it runs the statement one time and it will check the condition. If the condition is false, it will terminate. But still, difference is in do while, even if your condition is wrong, false, it will run the statement at least one time. Uh, in for loop and while loop, it will not run the statement 
if the condition is false. That's the difference. Okay. All right. So I think we can start code blocks. Then we will see one by one. Okay. It's simple, but you use this a lot. Loop AI. Okay. All right. Let's make the year. Include studio. Okay. Name. Can you read it? Okay. First, let's check uh, entry control it looks. Control it looks. First, we have a while loop, right? While loop was like this. Here was condition, right? Then here we have a statement. Yeah. So in order to make a condition, we need to have a variable. So let's use count. Let's say our count is equal to 10. So in order to make a condition, we use a count, let's say greater than zero, okay? For statement, let's say we want to print, let's say this is while loop. Okay, then we have to put decrement, <coughs> decrement here, okay? So what it does is our count value is 10. So in condition, it will check the count. Count greater than zero, right? Because its value is 10. So it on the print statement. Then it comes to here. Count decrement means count minus one. Means it will minus from count's value. So when it comes to here, our count value becomes nine. So here, when it runs first time, our count value becomes nine. When it runs the second time, our count value becomes eight, all the way to zero. Eight, seven, six, seven, uh, five, four, three, one, and zero. When it's zero, this condition becomes false, right? So when the condition is false, it will terminate the loop. So it will not run anymore. So it's supposed to give us, this is while loop message 10 times now. Let's check. Bracket. Oh, we forgot brackets. Okay. All right. Can you see the output? The output is, this is while loop 10 times. So loop normally you use to get uh, many, or is a outputs. You don't have to write print 10 times if you want to print out same value 10 times. You can just use a loop, all right? Okay, this is entry control loop because it's checking the condition before it runs the uh, loop, all right? Loop runs between these curly brackets if condition is true. If it's false, it will stop right here. It will, it will not go down here, all right? Okay, now let's see the second entry control loop, which is four. Loop. 
group, let's say count, integer count, let's say for follow, right? Equals to, let's say this is zero. The foundation is count f less than 10. You see how we put the foundation different now. Then we put count f increment. So here we put the statement. We put the statement. This is follow, right? Yeah, you can hear your voice. Okay, let's debug it and let's run. Okay, we forgot this new line. Okay, now this is over. Yes, you have a question? Hello. Do you have a question? Small John, do you have any question? All right, if you understand, that's great. Alemon, do you have any question? If your internet is slow, you can just write message. If you don't have a question, we have to move on. Right, so this two is entry controlled loop. We call it name of the loop is one in while, and another one is follow. All right, we can just run this. Oh, you see, <coughs> it's it's printing both statements. Uh, this is while loop. This is follow ten times each. All right. Until the condition becomes false, it's running this print statement, right? If you put this condition false from the beginning, it will not run anything. You see? If you put this one, it will run one time, then when it comes to decrement, one minus one becomes zero, right? Counts value becomes zero. So the second time it will not run. So output should be only one time. Let's check. You see that output is printing out. This is while loop only once. Okay. Right now we have to see exit control loop. which is do while. Let's say count do while equals to, let's say 10. So first we run do, 
Then we put statement. And we say this is a do while loop. We put the new line. Okay, then we put here while, which is condition. Count do while. Greater than zero, right? So we thought we have to put here decrement also. All right. Let's run it. You see the output? It's giving us the same output, but we'll see the difference now. <clears throat> if you put the condition wrong, Let's say this count is equal to zero. It will still run this print statement. Then it comes to here, okay? So it means even if your condition is false, it will give you at least <coughs> one statement. Let's check. You see that? Our condition is false here, but it's still printing out the message once, right? Let's show you this. Let's put this together, while loop and do while loop. All right, let's put both condition is false. You see that count is zero and this uh, condition becomes false, right? Here also count do while also false, uh, zero. And here condition is false, right? So if you run both of them, this do while loop will give you one statement at least. This while loop will not give you any statement. Let's check. All right. You see that? It's printing this do while's message. This while message not printing anything. That's the difference between entry control loop and exit control loop. So it's depending on your uh, function, whether you want to use entry control loop or exit control loop, all right? It's up to programmer to use it. Well, while loop and for loop, almost the same thing. It's also up to you to use which one. Both of them will give you the same result. So you can use both of them, whichever you like. Okay, so I think that's it for today. If you have any question, you can ask me now. Do you have any question? Hello? One more thing is today you learn is increment and decrement, right? Increment, we use count, right? Let's say if count plus plus means count plus one, okay? Decrement means, let's say count minus minus means count minus one. Normally it's like this, count equals to count plus one, count equals to count minus one, all right? So that's a increment and that's a decrement, all right? Is that clear, small John? Okay, if you don't have any <clears throat> if you don't have any question
I suggest you to do some exercise for better understanding. In the next class, we will discuss new new topic. I think that's it for today, and see you next week. All right, have a nice weekend.